Hey, another Sunday morning. This is uh, the faith part of the day. I am, you would definitely call me a hard atheist. When actually I never considered myself an atheist. It's just a, an explanation of, I don't understand what this God thing is. I've never seen it or found it my own self in all the decades I've been open to the idea because we simply haven't found the supernatural. None of the sciences, none of the computer systems, none of the automation, the robots that put your cars together for decades, the supply chain systems that did that, the physics of going into research labs at that time, they were working on hydrogen fuel cells and having light conversations about where that's going. Those were the doors that I had around me that I could walk in. Um, so I just never saw the supernatural. It is really as simple as that. Why am I sharing this? I visit a lot of atheist friends, neighbors, I guess might be a better term. And the depth that former theists are wrapped in that one book is hard to get away from. I see that. I feel that. I understand it because the basis of much of your life was built on things that the book never resolved, right? The book just didn't have the right answer. The explanations did not, did not meet uh, today's biology and understanding of genetics, let's say. These are dichotomies in your mind that as you learn, you have a very hard time resolving. So my suggestion to new to um, free thinking I guess that's a, a soft enough term for it. Mindfulness taking a breath before you speak, making it not about you personally. We all have a back history. Some of it's white, some of it's gray, some of it's black. But alternatives to that book are out there and are best found because otherwise you're circling yourself in something that it has a high value in places but the sciences aren't it the sciences are global the sciences are understood everywhere you use the word gravity almost anywhere in any country and folks are going to understand most folks are going to understand what you mean that general soft gravity word, not the hard definition, not the science definition, that soft word gravity is the description of a bit of the reality around us. So the debates, the conversations are cool, they're fun to watch. It amazes me how fractured some people's understanding of the world is. It doesn't make them stupid. IQ has so little to do with the ability to understand the real world. It's just another, it's another statistical point in the world around us. So what is after theism? That is a great question. What can you understand after theism? Can you keep your theism and understand all of this? Absolutely. Most of the people I know that work in professional circumstances know the place for the conversations. They're at the lunch table. They're during a break. They're not in a risk analysis scenario. And the risk isn't if your car will start, if the battery's dead. The risk is that nobody's car will start, but the batteries aren't dead. Is that a risk? 
it's a consideration in a nuclear event. It's a consideration in a large solar event. A solar event, we could have some warning of coming and shut things off if we knew solar events mattered. If we knew thoughts and prayers don't deflect solar events, thoughts and prayers don't change a hurricane's path. They don't change the risks associated with the long-term knowledge that hurricanes are more prevalent in some areas and more prevalent during some weather conditions. <laughs> so, hey, pride. Pride in what you know. I am a social justice person, SJ, but that's not my war. Social justice is for everybody, every color, every race, every human born on the planet has some level of social justice, some level of belonging that the whole society gives them. Keep your state's rights. Keep the pride in your state and where you came from. And science doesn't have, science isn't a right, it's an understanding, it's a tool. Too long. Another way too long. Ah. Pooh burgers. <laughs>